Have you ever gone into a tattoo studio and some of the machines sound like dentist drills and others you can't hear at all? Why is this? What's the difference and what are the benefits? Hey guys, I'm Hayley Tattooer and this is Tattoo Talk. So today we're going to be talking about the quiet tattoo machines. What's up with that? Why are some tattoo machines super loud and some are really quiet, you can barely hear them at all and what's the difference? So there are many different kinds of tattoo machines on the market for artists to choose from, but the main two different styles are coil machines and rotary machines. So a lot of artists will either use one or the other or both. It really depends on the personal preference, but the main differences are, this is a coil machine. You can see that there. So the way that this works is the electrical current is, is transferred up and down these two coils, which are wrapped so you can't see them. And that makes this metal bar go up and down like that. The needle is attached to this section, goes down here into a barrel into your skin. So when you're hearing one of, these ones are the noisy machines. So when you're hearing these at work, what you're hearing is this section of the machine going up and down several times a second. And that is what makes that sort of dentist drill style droning sound that you'll hear if you're um, present while somebody's getting tattooed by a coil machine or if you're getting tattooed by a coil machine. When we look at rotary machines, you can't really see the inner workings of these ones, but if I take it apart, what we've got on the inside of this one is a little cam engine. So this guy here goes around in circles. Just try and get it. So this guy here goes around in circles, all right? as opposed to going up and down. So if we clip this in here, what we get is this section, similar to the other machine, but going up and down with the needle attached to it. So this is a rotary machine. Uh, it works on a rotation. So instead of a perfect up and down, hitting up and down like the other machine, um, you get like an elliptical, traveling motion that thereby creates the up and down motion that you need for the needle to penetrate the skin. So because it's a round motion and not hitting motion, you don't get that that clicking sort of noise that you do with the coil machine. Basically they're performing the same, the exact same function. Your artist can adjust both of them in different ways to perform the tattoo the way that they want it to perform. So if you're doing big thick traditional lines you can do it that way or if you're doing nice soft grey wash. With correct tuning and correct maintenance either of these style of machines could do a fantastic job. It really comes down to um, tuning and it also comes down to the way that your artist uses them. So which one would hurt more, the rotary machine or the coil machine? Well the answer to that is it doesn't really come down to the style of machine as to how much pain that you feel because at the end of the day the needle is doing the exact same thing whichever machine it's going to penetrate down into the second level of your skin, the second layer of your skin to deposit ink there and both of those tattoo machines are capable of doing that. There is absolutely no difference in that part of the function. What there is difference in is the style of artists that probably prefer to use the rotary machines, and this is a big generalization, is probably artists that would prefer to do sort of soft black and gray work or very gentle sort of creamy color packing for realism and that that kind of thing like neo-traditional color whereas your coil machines again a bit of a stereotype but your coil machines are probably going to be preferred by artists that do more old school more bold lines more like very very strong color packing so it's not particularly the machine, but it's definitely the style preferred by the artists that use those machines that is going to dictate whether or not your tattoo is going to hurt heaps. Uh, there's also a lot of other variables like whether or not your artist is quite heavy handed, uh, if they tattoo 
fast, if they stretch the skin nice and firmly, how much detail is in your tattoo, where your tattoo is located. If you want to know more about pain scales, I've done a video on that. I'll put a link up the top here. So at the end of the day, neither the rotary machine or the coil machine should really have a noticeable difference in the amount of pain. Although I do hear from a lot of my clients that they will prefer to get tattooed by the rotary machine because it's quiet, it probably doesn't cause them as much anxiety because a lot of people do associate the noise of the coil machine with the traditional painful tattoo experience or like a dentist drill. It's probably more of like a placebo effect kind of thing, probably more of an anxiety related thing when people hear that um, violent hum. Uh, some people love the sound of the coil machines, by the way, so that really just comes down to personal preference. Neither one is going to hurt more or less than the other one, just based on what tattoo machine they're using. So how do you proceed if you really would prefer to be tattooed by a quiet machine or a rotary machine? As I just mentioned, some clients really do have that anxiety that's attached to that sound of the coil machine, that, that noisy drill sort of sound. Uh, it can get people really worked up. So if you're one of those people that would feel a little bit more comfortable being tattooed by a rotary machine, the best way that you can go about it is look for your artist. Choose your artist based on the style that you want. I've also done a, a video, an important video on choosing your artist and I'll link that just here. You really do need to choose your artist first based on the style and then just contact your artist, be open and just say, hey, do you use a coil machine or a rotary machine or a combination of both and just lay it down. You know, I'd feel a little bit more comfortable if you were using a quiet machine. It would just make me feel a little bit more at ease. And they will let you know. They will let you know if, yeah, they, I do use a coil machine uh, or I do use mostly rotary machines, but if you would if you would feel better, I can, I can perform your whole tattoo just with the rotary machine if it means that much to you. Conversely, if you really do want to be tattooed by a, an artist that uses a coil machine, that the exact same rules apply. If you prefer that old school hit of the, of the coil tattoo machine, if you really want that old school experience, for some reason you can contact your artist and just say, hey, do you use coils or rotaries? I really prefer coils. I think they're cool as part of the experience. And they will let you know. You just have to be open with your artist. The worst that can happen is that they tell you that they use the other machine and you can proceed from there whether or not their work is so amazing that it's not really going to bother you or whether your anxiety to the noise is or sensory input you know, issues to the noise is enough that you probably wouldn't feel comfortable with uh, that noise during your tattoo. But another option as well, even though the noise is quite penetrating, is just bring headphones, noise cancelling headphones, put a playlist of your favourite songs on your phone. Your artist will not care one bit if you chuck headphones on it. We don't think it's rude, we can knuckle down, we can do our work. Anything that helps you sit still and sit well through the tattoo is going to help us. So just if you want to chuck some headphones and noise cancelling headphones on and just listen to your favourite loudest music that can really get you in the zone and keep you focused, that is totally fine. It will completely drown out the noise. And and you can get through your tattoo without having to listen to too much industrial sound. So there you have it. That's what's up with quiet tattoo machines and the difference between a coil machine and a rotary machine while you're getting tattooed. If you have any more questions about the difference between coils or rotaries or you've got any other questions you want me to address in future videos, pop them in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.